it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today we have something a little bit different. This is basically uh, somewhat of a character build mixed between a specific armor set based around a tank build. So this is going to be kind of taking the least or minimal amount of damage that you can uh, within a build for your character and you can see by the gameplay in the background I'm currently on survival mode difficulty. And I'm taking very minimal damage. I mean, I'm in contact with a legendary death claw. And you guys can imagine how much damage a legendary death claw actually does uh, on a survival mode. But you can see my character actually eating this damage up, uh, which of course in turn gives me time to actually react and take out this death claw before it actually kills me. And you can see that in various different situations as well. I take very minimal damage with this specific build as well as armor set. Now, I have to say one thing, it's not ready for all types of character builds because uh, you can do this alongside going with other character builds, if you know what I mean. Like you can still play a very stealthy character when doing this. You can still go ahead and play the high damage character that you want as long as you're a high enough level uh, to invest in those perks as well. But onto the character build itself. Once again, it's actually based around a 50-50 type of thing. 50% uh, based around the specific armor set uh, that you have, which is extremely hard to get, by the way. And then the other 50% is kind of based upon uh, your character build. And even if you don't have the full armor set, uh, this is still going to tank your player up enough to take a lot of damage within Fallout 4. So let's get into the armor pieces first and all of the different armor piece combinations that you can do uh, to beef up your character the most. And starting off, we're gonna need Ballistics Weave. I've actually covered a previous video on this. If you guys haven't checked that out, um, I do urge you guys to check that out. And what Ballistics Weave basically does is it adds an armor rating to clothing items that you can wear underneath your armor. So uh, for instance, the Dirty Army fatigues that I'm currently wearing and the Newsboy cap, I can add an armor rating onto that using Ballistics Weave. And essentially how you get Ballistics Weave is for a certain side quest uh, to do with the railroad. If you wanna know the specific side quests and specific things that you need to do uh, to get Ballistic Sweeves as an upgradable armor mod, check the link down in the description down below once again to the previous video I made on this. But you can see by the gameplay in the background now, this is Ballistic Sweeve. When I go to an armor bench, I can basically add uh, this Ballistic Weave option onto these clothing items. So before, you know, my Dirty Army Fatigues had zero damage resistance. When I add the Ballistic Sweeve in the most that I can, it now has 110 damage resistance and 110 energy resistance, turning it into armored dirty army fatigues. So and I can do the exact same thing as well uh, with my newsboy cap. You can see there as well that the newsboy cap has zero damage resistance uh, when I go ahead and apply the uh, you know the ballistics weave. Once again, buffs it up to 110 damage resistance and 110 energy resistance. So alone already, just for wearing these two kind of very small clothing items. I already have 220 damage resistance and 220 energy resistance, which alone already you're off to a great start when doing this. Now the beauty of Ballistics Weave is that you can wear armor on top of this to once again increase the armor rating even more. And usually what I would say to you guys uh, is go for the, the heavy combat armor because that obviously beefs your armor rating up the most. But what you're going for here is a legendary sentinel's armor and the reason why is because the legendary sentinel's prefix makes it so that you get 15 percent or plus 15 percent damage resistance when standing still and that is on one piece of armor so let's say that you manage to find five sentinel pieces of armor or six of course then you're going to have you know each one giving you 15 percent five times 15 is 75 so if you're wearing five sentinel armor pieces like i am you already have 75% damage resistance without any perks or anything like that, which is absolutely crazy as an additional star. I mean, this alone, you're gonna be a tank already, and that is without any additional perks uh, from your character build. And that, my friends, is where the character build comes into play. There really is only three main perks uh, that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video that you really kind of need. Uh, the rest really not so much, I guess, but I'm gonna be showing you guys them anyway uh, if you are looking to go for more of a HP styled build. And uh, one of the first ones, of course, being Lone Wanderer at rank two. And what this does is when adventuring without a companion, you take 30% less damage, which is the main thing here, 
And of course, you get the addition of increased carry weight by 100, which is always good. Of course, having that additional carry weight there uh, is always a great thing. But taking 30% less damage from that perk alone uh, is already a huge bonus for your character. Next one that you're really going to want to invest in is toughness, and you want to get that to rank 5. Uh, you know, obviously, that will increase your damage resistance by 50%. Uh, another huge substantial amount there coming from toughness. Rooted rank 2 is also another good one, which kind of plays into effect with the armor that you're wearing. Uh, when you have it at rank 2, you gain plus 50 damage resistance uh, when standing still, and your melee and unarmed now deal 50% more damage as well, which is pretty awesome there. And they're really three of the main ones that you want to go for in terms of damage resistance. Now, some other perks that you may want to go for but aren't as necessary. Uh, one of these are Life Giver Rank 3, which you instantly gain plus 20 maximum health and slowly regenerate last health. Uh, that, of course, being great for the health regen and the additional maximum health there. Uh, Ghoulish is another one that you can go for where radiation regenerates your last health. Uh, so basically, no more radiation damage for you, which once again, uh, it's pretty damn awesome there. Solar Powered Rank 3 is another good one where essentially when you know, you're in sunlight, you're going to re start regenerating last health as well. Once again, more health regen for you there as well uh, when in sunlight. And then the final one, which you can go for, of course, is Medic which of course when using stim packs will restore all of your last health once again uh, going for a HP build there. So I like these packs aren't really necessary and may seem a, a little bit overkill or a lot overkill really but you know if you are going for a HP build and this is honestly one of the best things that you can do uh, all combined together to have the damage resistance at the max that you can. Now once again it's a very situational build you can kind of take small parts of this build if you like and incorporate that into your other character builds if you know what I mean. And a lot of it isn't necessary, but once again, uh, it is still very, very awesome. Now, you can see by the game from the background with all of this actually combined and survival difficulty, I really don't take much damage. You, I mean, you know, usually on survival difficulty, you have to think about what you're doing before you jump into a fight uh, because you can literally get your head taken off within seconds. But with this, you can literally jump into any situation, you know, just kind of like, you know, use that damage resistance to the maximum standstill for a few seconds, kind of analyze what's going on and then you can choose what to actually do and it makes survival mode a whole lot easier if that is something that you're looking to get into so that my friends is pretty much it for the video one of the main things i want to mention actually is the sentinel's armor which i forgot to mention before uh, to get that you do need to legendary farm or get them from legendary enemies and as always you know if you want to check out some of the legendary farming spots i have a video linked down in the description down below uh, that explains legendary farming you know some of the best spots to use and stuff that you can do to get this sentinel's armor and if there's one thing i'd say is that when you get a sentinel's piece of armor just keep a hold of it for now you know store it somewhere and keep waiting until you eventually uh, get the majority at least four or five pieces of this armor to combine together to have a lot of damage resistance there so uh once again hopefully you have enjoyed this video today as always if you did be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel uh, credit going out there to john the chief as well you can check out his a link down in the description down below subscribe if you guys are new around and i'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video peace out